It's time to take a deep dive into the sports world of our happy little rectangle. And now, from the Kitchen Table Studio in West Central Greene County, Indiana, it's Nathan's Low Budget Sports Show. show uh, we had three great dunks from three different teams in the past week uh, basketball seasons in full gear full swing here at, in Green County uh, be sure to vote which one is your favorite uh, down in the comments below and also we had a lot of great uh, college signing news here in Green County with players committing to the next level uh, let's see which players are going where here in Green County Last week, Kylie Cooksey, a senior at Linton Stockton High School, signed her letter of intent to play softball at St. Mary of the Woods College. Um, I picked St. Mary's because they have a great softball program and even better academics there, and it's just a great place. Like, uh, what's your favorite moment here at Linton? Um, one of the best moments for softball was winning the sectional championship last year. <laughs> that was amazing. Linton has really great teachers that make sure that you stay ahead of your academics. Our coaches are understanding of if we have to go to class for a certain reason. They're all supportive of each sport, so it's been a pleasure being an athlete here. I'll be studying healthcare administration, so like the business part of healthcare. Um, I'll be playing shortstop. The current shortstop is amazing. I've known her, I've looked up to her because she used to play on our past travel team. Yeah, I play travel ball since I was seven, eight, <laughs> so until now. So all my coaches along the way, Greg, Courtney, they've all helped me a ton. I hope we have a continue to have a successful basketball season. I hope that we have a, another great softball season. That was amazing. And I hope to finish strong with all my friends. Um, I'd like to thank my parents and my teammates, my friends, and my coaches. Wednesday at Shackamack, Senior Brady Iyer made it official to play baseball at Indiana Wesleyan University. So whenever I took my first visit, um, it, was in a, it was a place I know that uh, I was going to like. Um, you know, the coaches were great. Uh, what they're doing there is special, and it's something that I want to be a part of. And uh, anyone you want to thank to getting you for getting you to this point today? Um, all my coaches, for sure. Uh, a lot of coaches went above and beyond for me there. Um, my dad and my parents were always, uh, you know, giving me money and <laughs> play travel baseball, stuff like that, and um, definitely my parents for sure. My favorite moments definitely got to be stepping on Victory Field my sophomore year. Uh, me and my brother got to play there together for a state championship, and that was something pretty special because, you know, the whole, uh, the whole county or the whole uh, community rallied behind us, and it was just a great experience. Um, right now I'm going into mechanical engineering, okay. but... Um, you know, there's programs there where if I could get there in two years and want to switch to electrical engineering, I can do that. But um, hopefully, you know, right now it's mechanical engineering with a minor and a business. So I've always hit the ball really well for average. But, um, you know, like my sophomore year, I was at a 450. And then this last year, I was at like a 569, which broke the school record. And that um, that's something that took a big jump. And so did like my home runs. I think I hit three or four my sophomore year, and I hit seven last year. So... Um, definitely getting stronger. That helped a lot in the weight room, hitting home runs and uh, average. Definitely just getting as many reps as I possibly can. Wednesday was also a big day at Duggar Union High School, as the Bulldogs had five athletes sign on to play college sports, four in sprint football and one in softball. St. Mary of the Woods College and Oakland City University are getting talented individuals from Duggar.
Uh, Carter, congratulations, son of St. Mary's of the Woods. Uh, why made you pick the school? Uh, I like I like the culture, and you know, I just won the championship too. So yeah, I like to play for championships. Rui Cobb, congratulations, son of St. Mary's of the Woods. Thank you. Uh, wh uh, what made you pick SMWC? Um, just a good scholarship and all, and I like their program and how small the campus is and their willing of numbers. What was your favorite moment here at Duggar? Uh, I would definitely say the friendships you get from academics and just the overall family build we get, the feel you have within the students. So what made you want to play a split football uh, for? The scholarship was good. Like Everyone on the visit was really good. They should be good. Uh, out of all the offers I had, it was like, yeah, I mean, the recruiting was good mainly. And then everybody I met on campus was chill. And then the uh, whole campus like, you know, was like really all put together and everything's in like one area. So it's just like easier to get around. Probably playing in the eight man championship. That's pretty nice. Well, Avery, uh, congratulations on Oakland City. Brand new football program. What made you want to join their club? Uh, went on a visit. I really like the campus. The head coach is a great guy. I got along, connected good. And uh, what was your favorite moment here at Duggar? Uh, meeting all the new people, creating like memories that I'll never forget. Making family. Um, just the, the culture that they have there and the plans that they have. Small campus, yeah. Nice family. Um, probably when we won our first game, it was a huge win for us. We were uh, struggling for a while, and it was a nice change of pace. I want to say good luck to all of those Green County athletes, and, and the and I count Duggar in there too. I know some of you don't. Uh, that are going on, that are moving on to college sports. I wish them the best of luck at, at the next level, and I think they will have a, a great college tenure. Uh, that for those athletes you just saw, and uh, it was a pleasure uh, interviewing them this the past couple weeks, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing what they do uh, in college. And also, uh, let's take oh, we have one more thing to do here today, uh, a couple more things to do actually. Uh, next week, Tuesday, will be our top 10 stories of the year in Greene County sports. I will unveil number one. The number one story right here on the No Budget Sports Show. And uh, what do you guys think it is? That's right. It's the Linton volleyball team reaching the state finals for the first time in school history. They won their first regional in school history. And, of course, first semi-state in school history. So it was a ter terrific postseason run. Uh, somewhat improbable. But once you saw how they played during the year, you knew that they could do it. Uh, that will be our number one story. You can check out all top ten sports stories from Greene County uh, in Tuesday's edition of the Greene County Daily World. So that will be kind of our end of the year wrap up story. Uh, and now it's that time for... Nathan somewhat interesting stat of the week. Stat of the week is that no Green County team has ever won the Wabash Valley Classic. I think that's going to change this year. I think about one week from now, actually about six days from now, the Linton Miners might be playing the Bloomfield Cardinals in the Wabash Valley Classic final. Hey, I can dream, right? I think it could happen. Uh, and I hope Linton, they were just a, a layup away from winning the Wabash Valley Classic a year ago. Uh, I think they can definitely do it this year. And I know that the guys themselves are very confident in their ability to, to, to beat all four games that they need for to win the Wabash Valley Classic. Uh, I hope you guys can check out some of their games at Terre Haute North. Uh, I'll have some coverage of, of those games. I won't be at all four days at the Wabash Valley Classic, but I hope to be at least two, maybe three of them. And uh, we'll see how it goes down. It'll be very interesting. It's always a very exciting tournament here in the Wabash Valley. Well, I'll let me be one of the first or one of the last people to wish you a very Merry Christmas, Green County, and to all the people that are watch this show and support the Green County Day World by either subscribing to our paper or watching these videos. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. I uh, wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The next time we have a no-budget sports show, it will be 2023. I know. I can't believe that either. So thank you very much. Have a great night and a Merry Christmas, Green County.